All right, so we're looking at this glove box on this Jeep Grand Cherokee here. Thinking about removing that glove box so that we can get access to this little module, the fan control module, okay? And uh, this glove box has a couple of different things holding it together, keeping it from falling out. One of the items is this little pin right here. It's like a little, little notch there. So you do that on one side, on the right side, and then there's another one right here on the other side. All right, that gets those two things figured out. On the bottom of this glove box where the hinge is, right here, if you push that up, see if I can, no, it won't do it here. What you do is, is you bump that up. When you get the top part released, you bump this up and it pops it out. Let me get this in a position so I can show you. Okay, so each side has a little pin, a little pin there. Now, this left side does not want to come out easily. It's going to, you're going to want to drop that glove box down quite a ways before that left side comes out. And it has a little, little soft release strut here. And of course this one's all busted out. I guess somebody else took it apart before and there's no way to, to deal with that right now. So you'll spend more time messing around with all the junk that's in there than taking it off. So there's that little module there. It has a couple of plugs in it. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, you just release these little plugs. And of course they're in there like fire boy. Alright, so we got that plug out. And out of the way. Of course it wants to sit in where it came from. Memory. Nice wire memory. that one out I'll catch you up in a moment hang on a minute all right so what I what I did is those two torques that are on there are t20 and I just used the end of that t20 on there like this and just pushed that tab and pushed it up and helped it come out because it was plenty tight so you have two t20 torques in there torx bolt that is and I'm using a real long extension with my Dewalt. Let's see about getting that. There we go. Using these power tools is nice, only if you have really good trigger control. And that Dewalt's got nice trigger control. Otherwise, you just blow it out that screw will fly off and lose it so let me get the other one out because I can't get my hand in there and with the camera at the same time so just hang on a sec all right so I got the other one out it's not a big deal it comes out like that that's what it looks like this is a an old one I don't know if it's the original or not but probably probably is here's the new one looks to be the same so anyway everything looks good slap this new one in there let's get those little these threads on these things are fast threads plastic threads so you got to be real careful when you tighten this up so you don't blast those threads out. There we go, that looks good. Let's get this other one in. The 
but that trigger control on that Dewalt is nice. I like it a lot. So just get your plugs in there. I shoved that other plug way up here somewhere. Where'd it go? But anyway, I'm going to put that other plug in there and put this back together. I hope this helps somebody. Have a good day.